Hello everyone, welcome back for another episode of Serena Gaming. We are in Near Replicant, just after destroying the Airy again. Um, if you watched the little note at the beginning of my last video, I had accidentally lost some of the recording, and there's actually a rather important cutscene in there, so uh, I linked to another YouTube video where you can find that and see what it is I forgot, or not forgot, but didn't get a recording of. And what it comes down to is Popola and Devola continue to translate and decode stuff about the Shadow Lord and Project Gestalt and the like, and what I'm putting together is they are currently moving against the Shadow Lord. They do not, they, are, they have not been actively assisting him this entire time the way I thought after the first playthrough. It appears that some, probably- The Popolis found some information about the Shadow Lord. Let's drop by the village. Very yeah. well. What we're gonna find out is probably they'll decode something and realize that uh, Jonah defeating the Shadow Lord is bad. It's like gonna work against what their act their actual um, plan. And that's why they show up in the Shadow Lord's castle to stop you. At least that's my prediction as of right now. I'm wondering what it, what exactly it is they're going to discover. As I am forgetting some of the controls again, I've been playing Final Fantasy VII Remake once again, just because it's an amazing game. And of course, I also have the Ribby Rabby playthrough going on. Now, I did do one episode of Heart of the Woods uh, quite a while now, but considering how text-heavy it is, I am going to wait a little bit longer before continuing, before I'm ready to read that much and go through the whole experience of the visual novel All right, in a playthrough. It's the first of a game like that, aside from all the reading in Nier, so I'm not quite ready to do that on screen. Okay, here we are talking to Popola again. We have yet to meet a cord. I would very much like to meet a cord. God. Hey, Popola. Ah, you're back. Have you learned anything more about the Shadow Lord's key? I'm sorry, but it's going to take me some time yet. I see. Well, can I take something off your plate in the meantime? Hmm. Oh, how about this? You know the ferryman with the red bag, right? Well, he's been skipping out on work lately. Can I ask you to go to Seafront and check on him? Sure thing. Also in that cutscene, uh, Devola and Popola do discuss is it Louise, the girl shadow that you fight on the ghost ship. They're interested in her obsession with wanting to become this human. This feels alarmingly but... familiar. <laughs> I'm sure that couple is merely having another one of their inane spats. Let us do our utmost not to get dragged into it this time, hmm? When he said utterly familiar, I thought he was referencing the fact this is now our third playthrough. But not. Okay, so... 
before I go to Seafront, I am going to run around to a couple other locations to make sure there aren't any new side jobs that I have to finish, because you... I'm pretty sure you have to do all of them to get the third ending, so uh, I'll join you in Seafront unless there's any other progress. thought to try that before. That's convenient moving forward. A little scary, but convenient. Okay, once again, see you in Seafra. Hey. Did we ever? Found it. But then we heard a bunch of noise coming from that super dark floor downstairs. Yeah, sorry about that. A little, yeah. Good. Jeez, you seem r <laughs> Tell me, Kaine. It's on the floor above. I fear just much. There's a bunch of crumpled up paper. They all seem to have the same words written upon them. But the penmanship is so poor, I cannot make heads nor tails of it. They seem to be... It's very <laughs> difficult to decide... Oh man, that smell is getting right! Which How you feeling of the there, sunshine? monsters you fight that I feel the worst for? Can't you tell? Like, Louise really just wants to save, like, be herself and stay human. And the wolves we're gonna fight in a little bit, like, are just protecting the pack. And it's very this difficult the when. Final, the culprit who murdered the town. It's difficult when, you know, all the enemies aren't purely evil. It's that girl we saw when we first entered the ship. Old lad, this is a lone child sitting inside a hulking ship littered with corpses. Something is clearly amiss. There. Oh man, this shade is nuts! I think I'm in love. You can feel her power hanging in the air. And she ain't even trying yet. <laughs> Things are finally heating up. Could this girl be the presence you sensed, Kaine? Oh, hey, it's... Wait, you're the postman. What are you doing here? Oh, I've been coming here a lot lately. I think this girl was on the ship when it drifted in. I've been keeping an eye on her until she's well enough to leave. Hey, so this is kind of awkward, but... The girl is... You know, bleeding? I brought a bunch of bandages with me, but, uh, well, how exactly does one deal with a woman's time of the month? S sorry, sorry. Clearly crossed a line there. Forget I said anything. Stay the hell away from her! She isn't. <laughs> Kind of, 
Camille! We'll figure something out. You just find a way to get the hell out of here. The two of them will be fine, but you and... The ship is collapsing. We're very much aware of that. Shit! Damn it, they're in the way! Looks like we can get out through that hole up there! able to become so human because she's so powerful or is the power she has I don't know very I feel like there's so much we could learn from her yeah, that we never we're get good, to but that poor postman is still trapped inside we better go help him out no shade would dare pursue us into sunlight such as this we should use the oh, opportunity be to be surprised ready What on earth? She's riding a sword. Why isn't this shade being hurt by? By the sun. That is not precisely the case. It most certainly is being burned by the sunlight. However. Its regenerative abilities far outpace whatever damage the light is able to inflict. This light, something is coming. Get out of the way at once! Oh, listen, it's singing! This thing actually thinks it's a person! Chance. Attack with all that you have.
Did we get it? Whoa. A bandit ship. And panty shot, of course. Oh, hell. That thing's huge. such a grievous wound. Ordinary attacks aren't gonna do shit against this thing. We'll just have to up our own attacks to match. You get its weakness by now, yeah, Sunshine? Well then, get to carving this bastard up before we're all dead! I know, Tamit, I know. The core of this thing is in the mouth. We need to get up there. Are you serious? Um, but how are we supposed to do that? Instead of wasting time running your mouths, how about you keep attacking the damn thing until it falls over? Hey, the guy from before has collapsed on the beach. That shade's got some kind of hard on for it. We should take him hostage. Shut your gap. I'm not in the business of using my blades on people. Your chance, run, lad! Attack the part of her that looks like a girl! <laughs> or die instantly. That works too. Watch your step, lad. Do not tumble into the sea. Yeah. The shade's core is inside its mouth! Hurry! Hurry! Come on. Oh, in back. That's right. Come on, keep moving forward. Shit. Come on, forward, forward. played out differently than last time where she takes the postman hostage. What's the different like is it always like that or what? Ooh, 
That's a very interesting thing. What? Thanks. You really saved our bacon. You've all done so much for me. Offering a little refuge is the least I can do. I don't have the words to express how sorry I am. We all knew townspeople were out there being eaten by a shade. We did? But I never imagined I was taking care of it this entire time. Oh, okay. The fault yeah. lies with that foul creature alone, Postman. Not your Don't talk about Louise that way. I... All right, well, we'd better get going. There's someone else we need to break this news to. And you haven't done that in the previous week? Fair enough. I hope to see you out there on the old letter trail again. There she is. Hey, did you find my husband? Uh, yeah. The thing is... Wait, why are you hesitating? Is he all right? Please tell me he's all right. Come on, say something already. Always tell the truth. Your husband was killed by a shade. I'm sorry. Like, what lie down. would you even tell it's in this instance? No, it can't be true. Like, would you say he ran off with someone or what? A big like... idiot, always carrying his bag around, thinking about me all the time. Oh God, this can't be happening. <laughs> <laughs> It saddens this old tone to think we'll never hear those two at each other's throats again. Who said it wore you down? If only I'd gotten to him sooner. Do not let it burden you so loud. You did the best you were able. There are any Bunch other people disappeared along with that madness. Closer side quest I can do here. I keep running through the southern plains and still don't get that random encounter you need for a side quest. this new too? What did she find? The hell's this, sunshine? A letter. That thing wrote it for the postman. Ha! Man, that is some grade A chicken scratch! She probably copied the letters as best she could. So, what's it say? So, can I take it back to the postman, maybe? What? It's like I was stuck in some kind of dream. Hey, letter guy. Postman. You're that. Um, I mean, how can I help you? Got a letter for you. Wait, you have a letter for me? Yeah, it's from that thing on the ship. Louise? Let me see. Oh, it says, thank you. <laughs> wow, look at this. After all that time I spent trying to teach her to write, she actually managed to string together a few ugly little letters. Damn it. Why can't I stop seeing her smile? Or hearing that song she used to sing? I know she ate people. 
I know she was a monster. I'm at a weird point where it's been so long between some of these playthroughs that... Oh, it's a new trophy, so I guess that is new material. Um, I was about to say, I can't remember what happened in previous playthroughs and if this is new or not. Though I really do have to question anyone who begins the sentence with, I know she ate people. But. I know she ate people, but. <clears throat> Excuse me. As I recall, she shouldn't have any new information yet. But we're gonna get the invitation to the king's wedding. <laughs> Wonder if we'll get any new cutscenes. Shades on the coast, the ferryman dead. You've had quite the rough trip. That poor ferryman used to tell me stories of the epic quarrels he had with his wife. He found the whole thing quite amusing. He loved her, though. He loved her with all that he was. I'm very sad to hear that he's gone. Still, you made it back safe, and I'm glad for that. Have you any new information about the key to the Shadow Lord's castle? I'm still working on the decryption. But I'm afraid progress has stalled. Loyal Cerberus might refer to a dog, but I've never seen anything that would fit the bill. It must be pretty complicated if even you can't decode it. Well, you're our last hope, so... Please keep trying, okay? I will. By the way, I was walking by your house earlier and I noticed you had some mail. You might... Thanks. Oh, yep. one last thing. Since the ferryman was missing work, I arranged for someone else to handle the job. I'll make sure they know to let you use the boat as before. Gotcha. Even without those we have lost, the world relentlessly continues to turn. old book good to see a boy become a man probably not a good idea to turn down a wedding invitation from a king let's go to facade and we're off um, i actually think i'm gonna call it here next time will be the king's wedding and death of his wonderful bride fira um I'm wondering if we'll see any change in this story, the way we saw in the change with Louise, but I'm not expecting it, to be honest. I don't know how they could change it to be more positive. Anyway, we will have to wait until next time to find that out. Take care, and I will see you all later.